All right, YouTube, continuing operation 1.5.2. It is round four for the OG three-headed monster, the French Republic, the British Empire, and the Empire of Japan. Um, before I get into my turn, I got a couple minor, super, super minor corrections. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say that this is a crazy game. This has been a, uh, a very, very interesting game. This is a good one. Definitely one for the books. Um... Madman and I have been talking. This is going to be, uh, this is going to get pretty neck and neck. I don't think I have my victory points updated uh, um, completely, but it's looking somewhat like this uh, points wise for the Central Powers. Uh, Central Powers currently dominating over the Allies, but with how many turns are left and the things they'll change gradually, it's going to become very neck and neck. Um, CP, usually, unless someone, uh, screws up completely as a CP. Uh, CP usually is leading the game for uh, the beginning of the game. And then uh, once the uh, different theaters start to pan out, you see a little bit of uh, fluctuation and the allies catching up with their overall stronger economy. Uh, not individually, but collectively, you know. Anyway, so before I go, and get, go into my turn, just want to point out a couple corrections. There were a few mistakes on Madman's board. Um, First things first, I did not have three cavalry in eastern Ukraine, so uh, we're pretty sure that one of his kids put put three cavalry on the board for uh, for me. And while I thank them uh, for their uh, for their support, uh, we need we need we need to have this be a fair game. So uh, my remaining casualties, I'm having it. I have four units left, and I'll have two artillery and two uh, machine gun infantry left as Russia. The dice for this was crazy. Uh, thank you, Madman, for rolling uh, so well for me. Um, I thought I was going to be wiped out for sure, but not quite, although uh, uh, soon enough I will, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, that aside there, there was that, and I did not have any infantry in Portuguese East Africa. Madman had two, uh, two British infantry there for me, and uh, they were not there. So, um, and I also did not have a British infantry on the transport in C Zone 38. So, um, with that in mind, I allowed a madman to make a, a little bit of a change in his turn. So, instead of leaving a German infantry behind in British, sorry, instead of taking this German infantry be out of British East Africa, he is now leaving him there, and he is sending uh, only one infantry into Portuguese East Africa and the other infantry will go into Rhodesia. So I'm going to roll for him to see if um, he gets a hit or another hit or not. And either way, at the end of the end of his battle, he'll have uh, he'll have three machine gun infantry left because uh, because he got one hit against him, or whatever it was. All right. So let's see. Yep, and he gets another hit. Okay. So so I only have one infantry, one artillery in Rhodesia. Which definitely changes a few things, and then he has three machine gun infantry. Okay. Uh, and also, Madman asked me if it was okay for him to, instead of split both of his subs in 27, 28, he's going to send them both into 28. So I said, that's that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and I'm going to attack there So uh, as the French, so we'll see. Anyway, I think that is it in terms of uh, mistakes to catch. Yeah, that's it. So go, I'm going to bounce right into my turn. French Republic is in a bit of a bind. I'm going to buy one tech and one fighter for 10. And then for 9, uh, 3 infantry. Yeah, 3 infantry. That's it. So let's see if I get a tech. Come on, give me give me a 2. Give me a, give me 2. No, I don't. Well, I got two fours. That's not what I was asking. I was wanting a four, a five and a six, or two sixes, or two fives, whatever. Okay, so I have a technology token. And uh, that's just going to sit there in my treasury. Um, up here uh, in the mainland, four cavalry from Lorraine will go back to Paris. Three fighters from Picardy will attack Lorraine. One infantry from Lorraine will back up to Picardy. And then the remaining in, uh, from uh, Paris, everything that was that, everything that started in Paris, one fighter, three infantry, and two artillery will go up to Picardy. 
And then we'll do this battle here. I got six twos. He has one three. And then those fighters will go back to Picardi because they have one movement left each. Uh, the cruiser in 29 is going to attack 28 along with the cruiser from 31. And that transport from 31 is going to go 1, 2 and go into season 38. And hopefully, um, hopefully this won't happen, but maybe I just jinxed it. Okay, anyway. Um, let's see. Worth pointing out that Corsica is one IPC, so if there's a sub left over, I still get convo I get convoyed there. Uh, France gets con convoyed for a buck. Italy will get convoyed for more than that if, uh, oh, I don't know, actually, actually, I take that back. France also gets convoyed for Algeria and Tunisia, so I could lose up to three IPCs there if those, uh, those subs are still there. Uh, the infantry on the British transport in 38 will offload and will offload into where? Um, I'm just going to offload them, play it safe, and I'm going to offload, offload them into, into South Africa. Okay, um, the infantry from French Indochina that is now finally freed up will just move over, move over to Burma. I know, super exciting. Two infantry in Gibraltar are stuck there, for the time being at least. Um, what else? Okay, that's it for France. Okay, so we got uh, this battle here and this battle here. Let's start with this one. I got six twos, he has one three. And I got exactly, wow, look at that, exactly one hit. Whew, okay. He's dead. Let's get that bony iron dish over here. He fights back with a three. And he misses completely. All right, cool. So France goes up two. Oh, I forgot to, men I think I forgot to mention I'm only having three infantry in that fight in Lorraine. One infantry from Lorraine is going to move over to uh, Picardy. And then those fighters, I'm just going to go ahead and move those fighters back into Picardy. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, chipping out after my turn, but that's okay. All right, okay. Um, all right, in this battle here, I'm going to detect his subs with one uh, of my cruisers, and then he'll have two subs at two. So I got, here's a two and a three. All right, I got a hit with the cruiser that was not detecting. Gonna do my, my light up here is making it a little harsh so that the light gets blown out from the glare over here. But anyway, I got one hit. Here says two twos, and they gets one hit against me. Okay, so one for one. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, here is my cruiser detecting now, my last cruiser detecting. Miss, his sub. Ah, oh, he gets me. And Madman really has had to dice this game. Uh, I mean, I've had it. At, I've had it at a few points in time. He'll convoy me with two dice, and that tra that transport is left alive in there. So fun times. We'll probably auto kill it. Maybe he'll leave it alone, but he'll probably auto kill it. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess Italy has time to counter it, but I don't know if I really want to do that with Italy. Well, with the growing Austro-Hungarians up there. Okay. So we got that going on there. Um, oh yeah, wait, France goes up two, I forgot to do that. Okay, uh, any other combats for France? I don't think so. Uh, fighter in Paris, three infantry in Paris. Actually, I'll put one infantry in Paris. Because I could build in Lorraine since it was contested, sorry, my turn, it's my turn. I'm gonna build two infantry in Lorraine. So we got five inf I got five infantry in Lorraine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and actually come to think of it, the three 
I know I'm doing this a little out of turn, but actually, since I changed that my mind on that, uh, these three, in, uh, Calvary from Lorraine, they'll go up to Picardy, but one will go, come back to Paris. I hope that's okay, man, man. He's, he's a fair guy, I'm sure it is. Um, so I got 26 minus, let's see how much for this convoy. Minus, ha oh man, look at that. Three. Good job, dude. Okay, so I lose three bucks, so I got 23. 10. 15. One second. 15. Hold on a second. I just realized. I have less, I definitely have less money than I should, unless I was convoyed. One second, I only have 19 IPCs here. I definitely collected, I feel like I collected more than 19 IPCs. So you know what, I'm gonna stop and double check this to make sure this is right, that this is the amount of money that I should have had. So let's start with 19, uh, collect 23. 23 plus one technology token. Um, so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do the uh, disposition for France real quick, but I will cut and make sure that this is the right amount of money and I didn't accidentally bleed over any to the British. So one, give me a second, but anyway, uh, Lorraine has five infantry, Paris has a fighter, um, a fighter, uh, cavalry, one infantry, uh, Picardy has three cavalry, four fighters, three machine gunners, um, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artillery. Or sorry, twelve artillery. Six, twelve artillery, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen infantry. Seventeen regular infantry, three machine gunners, and then th four British infantry currently. Let me quadruple check that. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, seventeen regular infantry plus three machine gunners. Right. Hold on sure that is yeah that's two chips okay all right cool um we have one infantry in south africa one transport in 28 germany has one uh sub we have one infantry in burma and um two infantry in gibraltar uh that is it for france okay so let me just cut real quick make sure this money that i had to spend is correct and that british um uh, the British Empire's money is correct as well. 